Today we're going to talk about the B-17 Betty. So you're probably familiar with the B-17 Betty body from the relatively recently released SCX-24s. And here you go. This is, of course, a copy of this body that was released in, what, 2007? Probably 2008, I would say. So we'll, we'll put this back up on the shelf for now. Tom Lucas? Yes. It was Tom Lucas that asked in the comments to see this rig. So this body has actually moved a whole bunch on a lot of the rigs that I've built. Originally, I put it on the SCX-10 2 when it came out. Right now, this is sitting on an XT, SCX-10 2 ready to run, which has a slightly different layout with the same body post style. So it, this is just kind of a test rig. I've got a revolver in there, a little micro ESC. Nothing too crazy. Uh, the sliders kind of line up with the edge of the body, so it's pretty neat, but this is more or less a very close to stock rig other than some electronics. It's nothing fancy. However, the one that Mr. Lucas wanted to see while we were at Proline by the fire, I've got hiding down at my feet because I, I do have a stack of these bodies. And if any of y'all have more of these bodies, you let me know. I would like a few more. However, I do think that uh, based on how many people constantly ask me to sell the bodies, that there's probably not a lot of them out there. All right, so this one was hiding right here. There we go. Now, here's the rig that I had at Proline by the Fire. And this body was sent to me by a fella in the comments that I can never remember and I don't know where to find him. So thank you for sending me this body. But as you can see, it was actually painted like the box, the box art. So uh, here's, yeah, oh, that broke. Wow, that broke into a lot of pieces. <laughs> don't have that bike anymore. Um, as you can see, you know, the color scheme is a little bit different between the green and the silver, but it, it's, you know, it's, this, it's the same paint job. It's pretty cool that he did that. <laughs> it literally just fell into pieces. Uh, I don't know. Where did the handlebars go? There's the handlebars. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not fixable. Oh, well. <laughs> so this guy, I brought it to the event and I worked on it a lot while I was at the event and just getting the body mounted. Oh, I did this the wrong way. It's the rear that flips. I brought all the stock pieces and this isn't actually on an axial rig, at least not anymore. This is on an Element Enduro. Well, if y'all watch the channel, y'all saw me build this. This is the TGH Titan chassis. I'm going to take this battery out because I uh, don't need to just leave batteries in rigs and forget about them for a long time. But this has the carbon fiber rails on here. It does have the stock six gear transmission. I think I have the 12% ratio in this particular transmission. It's geared uh, pretty far down. It could be geared down more, but I have a 14 tooth pinion. I believe I had an 18 tooth pinion when I went to the event and it, it just was a little bit too high geared for my tastes. But as far as electronics, I'm running the, uh, let's see, is that the Crawlmaster V2 controller? I can't tell or remember. I think it's the V2 controller in there. We have the Team Spec Revolver. This is a 2280 KV or 2250 KV motor. Really short. Uh, we call it a SS Team Spec Super Snub Nose, if you will. It's, uh, it's extremely short, only eight millimeter stator, very light. And then we have our purple SHV 500 LP in there. So a pretty lightweight build. I have uh, whatever, aluminum rims on the front. I do have the brass knuckles and uh, outers on here for some forward weight bias and i still have the stock tires which i've cut and shut or uh, uh siped i'm sorry cut and siped for being a more or less stock rig minus the suspension it crawls really well and i'm not sure if it's uh well i do know that the stock rigs have incredible geometry right out of the box for the element enduros but the 
Titan chassis also has really good geometry on there, but geometry is really not my forte. What I will say though, boy, these stock shocks, my favorite stock shocks out of any are the element shocks. And of course, being a subsidy of Associated, they're going to have really nice shocks, you would think, you would hope, of course. But they never have sticks and you get it up off the shelf. It's ready to go. It's just, it's just a nice rig. So we'll get this one out crawling on the rocks here soon again. Yes, yes. So there you go. Neat little rig. Neat little rig. One of my favorites for sure. Well, if there's any other rigs around me that you uh, want to see me talk about, let us know in the comments. Or if you have any questions about that build, let me know. I'll do my best to get to them. As always, thanks for tuning in and have a great day.